Whoa, what's up? Today's video is titled Amanda Gorman, Kamala Harris, and Harriet Tubman, Ceremony Over Substance. Now, before y'all put on your star-spangled bandana, goddammit, and sing Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus, I ask that you sit down for another Block Talk breakdown. You know what? Disney's top teen sex promoter was right, y'all. There most certainly is a party in the USA. And guess who highly intoxicated? That's Biden Black Base, unfortunately putting another generation of blacks at risk of being taken advantage of just because they won't take a shot of Trump fear or they won't take a shot of forgive Biden or take a shot of it's the lesser of two evils. A matter of fact, a double shot of Kamala race and gender, God damn it. And finally, y'all know how it popped off, a shot of eloquent poetic passiveness. And there you have it, the perfect concoction for submission and slumber while others continue to pillage and plunder. And we will rise from the gold-limbed hills of the west. We will rise from the wind-swept northeast where our forefathers first realized revolution. We will rise from the lake-rimmed cities of the Midwestern states. We will rise from the sun-baked south. We will rebuild reconcile and recover in every known nook of our nation in every corner called our country our people diverse and beautiful will emerge battered and beautiful when day comes and that's all some of y'all needed to get white supremacists wasted to get fooled to get bamboozled once again but guess what Amanda Gorman didn't write that poem, and I have the person who did, and I asked them to recite a piece of that poem in its original version, goddammit. The person asked to remain anonymous, so that's exactly what we'll do. I'll keep this picture up as the person break down how the poem really was supposed to go, or at least a part of it. You are witnessing a rebel network. From the gang task forces of the West to the Midwest bombardment of Black Wall Street, to the poison waters of the neglected Black North, to the Eastern inequality before and after Giovanni, to the alligator-filled Southern swamps that smothered Black babies in an instance for entertainment. This is a genocidal soil that has never seen arraignment. We don't seek sorrows and apologies. We now seek payments, reparations. You are witnessing a rebel network. You see these parties, festivals, ceremonies, inauguration and all of that crap? All of that is substanceless, people. And living vicariously through cherry-picked puppets in high places is substanceless as well. All skin folk ain't kin folk, remember? And just because they have the same gender don't mean they have the same agenda. Breonna Taylor was executed unarmed, shot multiple times in her chest, yet we leave in an inauguration talking about who wore it best. But don't take my word for it. Let's go through his first 100-day plans. Key word, y'all, plans, which means he planned this before he took office, which means the notion that blacks should elect Democratic candidates first and ask questions later, asinine. What we about to do is break down his first 100-day plans, well, his fulfilled demands, by the way, by now, for other groups seeking substance over ceremony, substance over symbolism before the election. You are witnessing a rebel network. President Joe Biden stands by his pledge to sign the Equality Act within the first 100 days of his presidency. When his press secretary was asked about the bill at the briefing yesterday, the Equality Act would add sexual orientation and gender identity as protected categories to federal civil rights legislation, banning anti-LGBTQ discrimination in housing, public accommodations, credit, and other areas. The landmark legislation was one of Biden's central promises made by the campaign to the LGBTQP. People. My logic is irrefutable. Who delivered the White House to Joe Biden? It wasn't LGBTQ. It was black people. Who delivered the Senate and the House to the Democrats? It wasn't LGBTQ. It was black people. 
Matter of fact, they say if black people had not shown up, he would be sitting outside of the White House right now. But look who's getting stuff done for them, people. I know some of y'all gonna just use the LGBTQ part as a reason to cut this video off and avoid fact and logic. But that's all on you because the real one's gonna keep it playing, y'all. Black people delivered this man the White House, the House and Senate, y'all. But guess who getting their first 100 dollars they promises enacted lgbtq not you not you for all of the voting you did all the running around telling other people how they so ignorant for not voting how they so ignorant for trying to ask for stuff before the man is elected and all of that Mac, we just won't get trump out first remember all of that where are those people y'all where are those people? And think about this, y'all. That don't say racial equality, goddammit. We the ones that's unprotected out here. We the ones receiving anti-black murders by policemen, the people who's supposed to care for and protect the citizens. We the ones highly unprotected. And don't take this as a shot at nobody or nothing like that. I only use them as an example how other groups can make promises before the election and have them enacted after the goddamn election, people. Think about it. You are witnessing a rebel network. Oh, there you go. That's us right there. They extending our voting rights. Oh, how easy some people are fooled, huh? Oh, how easy some people are fooled. Y'all, you got to read stuff. Pay attention. You know what the key word here is? Extend. They got to extend the voting rights. That mean they don't even believe in your right to vote enough to make it permanent, people. They don't believe in your vote enough to make it permanent. They have to keep extending your right to vote, goddammit. Do you really trust a system like this? And look at him. He won't invoke John Lewis, a man who ain't never done nothing for us. If you look it up and pay attention to uh, politics, don't let these people just start flashing some old dude in your face who said, I was with Dr. Martin Luther King and all of that. And you just think he's an icon. That man sat there with them people and let them do whatever they want to us while he get a little cushy job in the office, you dig? But I ain't going to even harp on him as he is dead. But do y'all understand this? These people can't even make your right to vote permanent. Plus, who does this benefit? It benefits the Democrats. That's why they make sure they extend it. And guess what? It even failed last year. Ain't that a shame? That means it's a lot of officials that represent me and you, supposedly, who are against our right to vote as human beings, as black human beings in America. But it's my fault, huh? Or, oh, I'm blaming all of these people and all of that, huh? Everybody won't look at the messenger instead of the message sometime. It's all right, though. Let's continue. Criminal justice increased police reform in response to the national outcry that erupted over the police killings of George Floyd and other black Americans. Biden said he will institute a National Police Oversight Commission within his first 100 days of taking office. It's a part of a larger plan to help overhaul policing, including investing 300 million into the community policing measures across the United States of America and tasking the justice department with investigating possible issues of police prosecutorial misconduct now let's block talk break it down let's start with the title y'all criminal justice increased police reform reform simply means change y'all they can be changing socks changing vests changing cars changing departments so you have to be specific when you come at us god damn it we not playing with these people no more and how they say criminal justice and then they lead into saying after george floyd and other black americans had been murdered hmm Guess what? George Floyd and other black Americans like Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, they are not criminals. Criminal justice would not have helped the situations that they was in. That's because they were murdered in cold blood. They not criminals. They don't need criminal justice. God damn it. 
all these people something else. National Police Oversight Commission. Ever since Joe Biden been in office, I ain't hear him talk about that commission not once. Now, if you hear about it, please send it to me. Leave it in the comments or whatever. But I don't hear about the formation of that or nothing, God damn it. And I want to know who going to oversee the police. Think about it. Will it be the community in which the police serve or is it going to be a bunch of suits in the White House who really favor the police and going to say, oh, nothing to see here, nothing found. We didn't see anything. You know what it is, including investing 300 million into community policing measures, which means they probably about to get more vests, more guns, new cars and all kind of stuff. You dig to combat blacks after they being murdered and have the cheeks to want to walk down the streets and demand justice. That's what they doing. They about to get more barricades, more uh, mace, everything that they need to combat us. Talking about community policing measures you dig investigating possible issues look at that the key word is possible he gonna have them investigating possible issues of police prosecutorial misconduct ain't no possible issues there are total issues with american justice talking about possible issues with prosecutorial misconduct get out of here y'all y'all see how we just broke that down this is nothing but bs you dig that's why you gotta be specific about what you want before these people get in office before you put them in office don't listen to celebrities entertainers at least and all of the all of these people who are paid to guide you a certain way you dig they are paid to guide you in a certain way people you are witnessing a rebel network criminal justice enact comprehensive criminal justice reform as the first step in a set of goals addressing prison reform and crime prevention Biden says he will quickly push congress to pass the safe justice act proposed by Representative Bobby Scott, Democrat of Virginia. The legislation would include taking steps to reduce the use of mandatory minimum sentencing for nonviolent offenses and institute policies geared at lowering recidivism. Do y'all see the pattern? They seem to think all black people are concerned with is criminal justice, criminal justice reform, criminal justice enact criminal justice reform. And I told y'all, reform simply means change. These people ain't even changed the way they view us. They roll down these streets, patrolling our neighborhoods, looking down at you, pulling you over, putting you on that hot car, putting your hands on it, and sometimes putting your face in it. You understand me? Violating you, putting their hands all in between your crotch, looking for anything they can, violating people, men and women. You understand me? For those of you who own that gender stuff, because Breonna Taylor did not deserve it. God damn it. Oscar Grant didn't deserve it. And they not criminals. George Floyd ain't no criminal. Sean Bell ain't no criminal. None of these people are criminals. So why these people keep trying to relate criminals to our struggle? That is not our top priority as a people. God damn it. Criminal justice this. Criminal justice that. You understand me? My logic is irrefutable, y'all. Talking about taking steps to reduce the use of mandatory minimum sentencing when they need to be talking about eliminating it, y'all. That's the reason a lot of people, fathers, mothers, brothers and stuff is still locked up, god damn it. You understand me? They ruin people's lives when they put them inside that cell, bro. They really do. You put them in there. You, if you worried about recidivism, you should worry about the uh the conditions of these jails that you put people in. Because once you put them in there, they come out even more angry. Seem like you you want more revenge against people coming out of these uh these uh facilities where these COs beating people, raping people, selling drugs as well. What is wrong with these people, y'all? Think about it. You are witnessing a rebel network. Yep, there's a party in the USA, and clearly Biden Black Base been taking all the Democratic date rape recipes, y'all, including this one. Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill. I know some of y'all just like, she black, and you're going to take it. It's the first black person on a bill, you dig? But you're not going to stop to think why they would have a slave represent you? You, you think they're going to put a slave owner on a bill? 
well, uh, uh, outed slave owner, you know, one with a whip in his hand and all of that. But check out this picture. Do it look like this woman was posing to be on a $20 bill? You see the difference between them when they represented they self, they got all of them men up there posing. They looking up. We we're winning. We're conquering America. We're the founding fathers. And they put you on there and you a slave. We running from them. We trying to get weed out the water and all of that. There, They still won't represent us as slaves. They could have picked so many educated black women, so many black women in their glory and got a beautiful picture on there, but they won't show this woman in her suffering god damn it you could say what you want about the history of harriet tubman but look at the look on her face god damn it you see that look do that look like somebody who give a damn about a 20 dollar bill this woman is trying to make it to the next day trying to free people she got to worry about people snitching on her let alone the cops who looking for her. you understand that i don't think she would want to be on this bill she would want somebody else or want us represented in our glory not at our low point. You understand me? We're not falling for this ceremony crap no more, people. We need substance, y'all. Substance over ceremony. Substance over symbolism. You dig? Substance over symbolism, y'all. We can't be out here playing and getting drunk with these people. But hopefully, when y'all voted for Biden and y'all voted for all of them Democrats for the House and Senate, hopefully that was the last time you get drunk. Hopefully these first 100 days give you a glimpse into why voting is completely futile. Once again, y'all holler at me.